Dear students, welcome to lecture number 3 of Statistical Physics Paper 2. In this lecture, we will explain two topics. One is ensemble and second is the ensemble average. And uh, this ensemble average gives uh, the formula for average calculation. So in first topic in ensemble, we will define the ensemble and try to understand it. So we will study its properties, characteristics. And we will define a state a famous hypothesis known as aerogadic hypothesis. And we will also try to understand the ensemble with some examples. And second topic, we will generally try the formula for averages in statistical mechanics. And after these two topics, we will be able to give the answer of the question which is present in the previous papers of Punjab University. And that is, what is the basic difference between the definition of calculated average from ordinary method, which we have studied in the previous lecture, and uh, then the ensemble method, which we will study in this lecture. And we will define what are the elements of ensemble with the proof uh, of the relations for ensemble averages, which is our second topic. The concept of ensemble was introduced by the GIF in 1902. This concept enables us to calculate the average values of physical quantities as we in statistical mechanics consider a system of gas contains n molecules uh, and these molecules uh, are moving randomly and they have micro states and we find the position q and momentum p of these particle which defines the microstates of the system. So microstates are changing and uh, due to changing microstates uh, there is a shift in phase point on the phase line and each phase point and phase line uh, of the system develops out of the previous point. Each point will develop from the previous point according to the laws of mechanics because Q and P are randomly changing and microstates are going to be changed. Although the externally, if we see that the pressure, volume, pressure, temperature, these microscopic quantities are not changing at a constant, but microscopic quantities are changing. So gives uh, replace the time dependent picture, which is that uh, in a gas, uh, position and momentum are changing with respect to time and we have to take the averages of these microscopic properties we have to wait to um, take the time averages gives replace time dependent picture to a static picture for this we assume that uh, we consider large number of systems um, and uh, all these systems for oh, these are n systems and containing large number of molecules and microstates are changing but macrostates are changing and uh, all these systems have different microstates but same macrostates and uh, average can be taken on 1, 2, up to n systems at the same time so phase line exists at the same time and each point on the phase line represents a separate system with different microstates. So we can define an ensemble in such a way that uh, a collection of large number of microstates which give rise to the same microstate. Large number of microstates uh, and of different systems but same microstate because pressure, volume, temperature, these are constant. So this is called statistical ensemble. And in this gas, even if we consider time average or ensemble average, we consider the these n particles. These particles are non-interacting particles. They are not interacting with each other. All these particles, time average or ensemble average, the Hamiltonian or energy of these particles is constant. P is constant, not changing with respect to time. So micro macro state is same and independent system. In case of uh, ensemble averages or ensemble, 
these are independent system this system is not depending upon the second and second is not depending upon the any other system so from the definitions we summarize uh, or give some characteristics of ensemble uh, in ensemble method whole of the phase line exists at the same instant of time because we may use simultaneously all the uh, system uh, and at the same time uh, we neglect the problem of time and uh, all micro possible micro state of the system is this simultaneously uh, we make average on them uh, in ensemble the time averaging over a single system is replaced by ensemble average we replace the time average to the ensemble average uh, and it is at a fixed point all these characteristics are same meaning at uh, any state of this ensemble any state of this ensemble is called element of ensemble now we state the famous aerogadic hypothesis or theorem and this theorem states that it is assumed that the time average of some property of the system in equilibrium means if we have some property of the system of equilibrium and we take the time average of that property of the system in equilibrium then this time average of that property will be same as the instantaneous ensemble average so time average of any property of thermodynamic system time average it will be equal to the ensemble average of that property now we try to understand ensemble with with some example uh, for example we have three boxes 1 2 and 3 and each box contains balls a b and c in first box we have a ball in second we have b and in third we have c so we can distribute these three a b c balls in these boxes in different ways we can change the position of a into b we can change the position of a and it takes the position of c and also we can take the position of c as a and c as b and there are six possible ways to change the position and to distribute them means we get three factorial ways to distribute these three balls in three balls so each distribution here for example this is one distribution and there are five other distributions so each distribution is different system and this is called a system this is one system and there are five other systems and collection of these six system we get total of six system and collection of these six system give us the formation of ensemble and we call that collection of six system as an ensemble from this example we can generalize our idea for we have a gas uh, and having n molecules in the container and uh, there are uh, n possible ways to arrange the particles or distribute the particles or molecules so we get n factorial number of ways and this forms an ensemble of n factorial so what is ensemble average and we will calculate the general formula for average calculation in statistical mechanics uh, first we define ensemble average ensemble average is the average over all the elements or at a fixed time in an ensemble Uh, as we have already know the definition of ensemble which talks about the fixed time of measurements of all the states uh, let us consider the point from the origin here it is origin and we have first point second point third point and we then x1 x2 up to x of n now we can find their average distance from the origin adding all these and divided by total number of point this is of the average value of distance it is not necessary that all the points may be equidistant from each other 
the point may also be in this form and that is x1 x2 and x3 x4 these are four times four points and uh, at at position x5 there are two points so we can add them as 4x4 and 2x5 so generally we can write uh, 1 over n as taken as common and sum of all these elements n i into s i so we have derived the basic formula for uh, average value and now this formula discrete distribution can be expressed in continuous function by integrating this so we integrate the uh, replace the summation by integral from minus infinity to plus infinity over all whole space and total distance and total number of points this n is gives you the giving you the total number of points so therefore we can write uh, and this as n is here and we place total number of points in the denominator with this last continuous expression for the averages is the formula for x coordinate where x here in the formula uh, may be the property uh, parameter associated with the thermodynamic system this is the general uh, coordinate which is taken as x but it may be any property in thermodynamics system for any arbitrary property or we have arbitrary property or in the thermodynamic system as r so equation 2 can be written as replacing x by r this is the general formula for any arbitrary property of thermodynamic system and if the points are such that one has large radius and some second point as small and large radius small radius then to, to find the average diameter from the origin we will have to represent the diameter uh, as continuous function it is a continuous function it is continuously changing similarly if we have continuity in the height of the bar uh, we will find the average height from the origin from one side we will get a value of x as a continuous function generally we can say that for which property we are representing over relation or formula that must be represented by continuous function.